Hello guys, welcome to another Click Team Fusion tutorial. This time, I am I didn't upload a Click Team Fusion once a year. Finally, that that has been happening. So this is another one, and this one is on the cameras, just in case. And don't worry about this awful texturing. This is just the aesthetics, and it's not for like an actual game. So what you got to do is for like every single one of these little like camera things that you got to do, set them to check off this one start and check off all of the frame just so that like they don't stand in one place as you look around and make sure to have a little animation for like your little buttons like just in case if you, if you just in case if you like press it that's gonna happen and make like a little map for your little camera locations make a little animation for your s static that's gonna trip my eyes out <laughs> And make an and make a um, animation for your cameras being flipped up. Being flipped back down. Yeah, I know that looks awful, but hey, this is just for the tutorial. So first off, you're gonna have to get a little counter and go ahead and rename the counter camera, and just so that you can like differentiate between different counters. Just go ahead and make like a little design. Like I'm just go ahead and make a quick little design. Where is the orange? I don't even see the orange one bit. I feel mad. Here it is. There's the orange and there's the blue. So what I'm gonna do is do this with orange and do this with blue. Go ahead and do some like this. And voila, there's your little cameras kind of looks weird but oh well now go into your little event editor section and make a little section for cameras this is just for scrolling and make sure for your scrollings make sure to put if the camera thing is invisible or else you're gonna be looking around while you flip through the cameras and that's just gonna be weird so go ahead and go to check for math pointer over an object and, and like make sure I have like a little texture for your little like camera little thing to to yeah like to you know like flip up mouse point over that and do it only one actual event loops just because that's gonna bug out when you don't do it and it's gonna add to the counter one time and if that counter equals one then this camera is going to reappear and it's gonna do its flip up animation right here and go ahead and hold and drag here and just um, double click right here if it's greater than one meaning like any number that it's greater to it's gonna change it to the putting down animation there we go and do and then do has the putting the putting up animation finish this is going to reappear and then go to effect compatibility set semi transparency meaning it's going to do the little opacity thing set that to about an 85 ish and just see if that works then make this reappear along with the little Camera 1, camera 2, and your little mini map. Oh, yeah, and go ahead and put at start of frame, order, move behind your little static object. And go ahead and hold, drag this down, and double click right here. And if it's the running animation, put, put these check marks as invisible. Oh, no, 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 wait. Put that as invisible. Get rid of all of these. And when this equals one, I mean, if it's greater than one, it's going to make these invisible. So this is what it should look like right now. Yeah, this is just the um, aesthetics. There you go. Some reason that animation looks super weird. Oh my gosh, I don't even like it. 
just go ahead and um, close it. Okay, and once this running animation's over, set it back to zero. Just so that, like you can keep on it. Just so that, like you can keep on doing it. I gotta fix the animation. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> and now what you're gonna do is, if this button is visible, drag that down and do if the other button is invisible. Right click, a new condition. If you click on that button. It's gonna change animation sequence to its play animation, and then it's gonna stop this other animation. Same thing here. Go ahead and drag this down to here, switch it, and then just switch these two check marks like that. And then, if you do that, set the little camera direction. So meaning like, you go ahead and like, this is where you put in your cameras. You know like. These are like the um, direction to put them in. Like, if you have more areas, then just like, then just slide this to the right to increase. But I have two areas just because I don't want to spend a lot on this. So oh, I have two areas to look at. So whatever area that that button is gonna go to, you set it to that direction. So this is the direction I want this one to go, and then this is the um, direction that like I want that one to go. So here's what I mean. If you go ahead and lift this up, it, it's gonna, it's going to switch between these two. Go ahead and flip it back up. Yep. See, look, and there's your cameras. Works fine. So, oh, and also make sure to add sound when you click these buttons. I'm just gonna go ahead and dig through the um. <laughs> FNAF audio just because I'm too lazy to make my own. Plus, I say that you don't sound as well, so let's go to wrong one. System location sounds. Where's the blip sound? How is that not in here? Oh shoot, that's in the other one. Oops. Here we go. There's that, then there's that. And then put when your mouse pointer is over it, go ahead and put no. No, 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 wait. Go ahead, if it equals one, drag these two down and put them here. Go ahead and play your little put up sound or lift up however this audio says uh, I believe it's lift up okay this is put down and it says flip up I believe if it's, if it, if it's flip up then yeah ah it's flip up flip up and then for the greater than one Go ahead and go all the way down to put down. And if you want to do like the camera shortcut, like on um, this location, go here, the keyboard, upon pressing a key, S, just add one to the counter. And that's pretty much it. So now you got yourself a little. Wait. Go ahead and put like at the starter frame, just bring this order, bring it to the bring it to front just so that like you could see it and know where it is and here you go you got yourself a working camera I'm gonna have to shorten the size of this just cause it's in my way but that is how you do the cameras. Be sure to watch my other Click Team Fusion tutorials if you ever decide to do that. And well, I will see you in the next video. Just let me adjust this real quick and show you the finished product.
I shortened the size just because I was in my way a bit. There we go. There we go. So that's how you do the cameras. And if you want me to do tutorials on other things, be sure to comment on that. I could possibly do an random animatronic movement, some sort of sister location movement, like, you know, Bonnet, Ballora, Funtime Freddy. I've already done Funtime Freddy, if you want to check that out. I could just do really advanced FNAF stuff, you know, like cutscenes and all that. So be sure to comment down below what you want, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.